So I'm playing one turn in space base here, and I really messed up real bad. So before I had this uh, USS Collins, and what that does is it lets you place one charge anywhere and then move one of your other your charges to another charge spot. So I should have done that and then moved it to the uh, the Gubarev. Okay. And then I would have been able to move the sum of two dice up one, and that would make this six, which I could take one coin, turn into a seven, four points, which that would be much better to get four points. But unfortunately, I am stuck doing a two and a four, so one and one, and then I'll do that. Okay, but hold on, let's see if we can make something good out of this turn. I'm at 18 points. I'm beating everybody else right now. So maybe I should try to just end the game and go straight for points. Let's see how everybody else is doing. Um, this is a one player setup. Okay. Um, Pink Coder setup. Chief Keef setup. Okay. So let's see how everybody else is set up. But hold on. Maybe I can still use this. Um, this. Uh, the Collins to my advantage. Let's see what I can do. So I'm at 23 coins. That's enough to buy anything out there. It makes me start wanting to look at some of these bases and colonies to try to utilize their points. Um, getting these yellow cards will not be good because um, the downside of them is that you, if a five is rolled, say I do buy this Hicks base, um, then any time that a five would be rolled in the future, I wouldn't, on my own turn, I wouldn't be able to get uh, seven points. It says you cannot add any more cards to that sector. So um, it's just a one time bonus of seven points. Usually you get them at the end of the game to just win. But with so much money, I think maybe I should just go for it. So here's what I'm going to do. Earlier on, I got a ship that, uh, the Grisham, that allows me to use this to increase my amount of money temporarily. So it's a way to store money up. For future turns. And I thought that might be a good strategy to do, so maybe look into that, the uh, the Grisham. Now I'm at 29, but I really don't want to get the one that costs 27, because that would replace my 7, which is giving me 4 points um, each time I roll a 7, and 7 is a pretty commonly rolled number. And this 8, it's getting towards the end of the game, it's not really doing me a lot of great good, the Collins and so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take this and choose to add a charge somewhere and then I'm able to move a charge from somewhere to somewhere else and then just like that um, I'm able to Take this, so use move one to four. I moved a four to a three. Okay. Um, hold on. Why did that not give me another cube there? All right, let's reset the turn real quick. If you didn't see what I did here, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take the two and the four, use these two, boom, boom, now I'm at 29 coins. I'm going to use the Collins to spend one to place one anywhere and then move one to an empty spot. So I'll do that, place one right there, and then I'm going to move one of these to an empty spot. I think we found a glitch in the game. Looks like it won't let me uh, me add another one to there. And that is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, it's all right. 29 coins is good. Um, I think I will move it up to 30. Oh, no, it wasn't a glitch. I still have one more charge there. So I'm at 32. And a little bit more would get me a 33, but do I want to do that? Probably not. Um, I think I'd like to replace the 8. So let's do that. I'm going to buy it. I now have 10 more points. 
and looking pretty good. So well ahead of all the other players, but I'm not out of the woods yet. So I'm going to skip any more of those and end my turn. So that was one little turn in space base. Pretty big turn, a lot of different moving parts to that, but hopefully you saw the use of the uh, the Grissom and that other ship, the uh, the Collins, and how I was able to move, maneuver around those charges to get even more money later on. All right, thank you very much, and hope you liked that little mini strategy.